gonna start. <laughs> Hi. Hold on, rewind. I'm Colleen. I'm Natasha. And we're here with Tommy. Yay! So we love that you're here today because what was it? I'm horrible at math, but like not even 15 hours ago, your show went live, yes. streaming on Netflix. I know. We're so excited we got you on this day. What a celebratory day! <laughs> yeah, because a month from now it'll be like YSB what? <laughs> <laughs> never um, heard of her. But we know. It <laughs> um, love your nails. Thanks. So, yes. so the whole. So talk a little bit about what you just told us before we went live. Yeah. Awesome. If um, hopefully whoever's watching this is also binge watching the show at the same time um, and you'll notice that Hannah the main character in our show uses this blue color nail polish for a couple different things and Mandy one of our executive producers sent us like sent everyone in the cast and all the creative people bottles of them so we could all have matching nails from here and I was surprised by like you know I thought I was like oh yeah for sure all the girls are gonna do it. and I was like and I'm gonna be the only guy but that's like normal I'm used to being the only guy with nail polish <laughs> and then I showed up and it's like Brian Yorkie has his nails done Jay Asher who wrote the book has his nails done Devin Druid has his nails done uh, Justin Prentice who's like the straightest person I've ever met <laughs> ever had his nails done he's also the sweetheart so I, I love like, it yes. I love it it looks awesome I like yeah. to match your outfit to it Thank too you. <laughs> and so what's super cool is that so we've we did an interview before this, so you guys will see that later. Um, but so we got to know you a little bit, and it was super fun chatting. And so you were in college for four years studying acting. Yes. And then basically, this was less than a year later after graduating, you booked this. Yeah, which is so, not normal. Not normal at all. <laughs> um, so was last night like the first big red carpet? Like this is happening? This yeah, is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've never, I've never done that before. Ever. What was it like? Overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> was it like exactly, did they prep you for it? No. Or did you just, they're just like, go. They're like, uh, No, smile. but you know, I like, I'm pre, I like to be in the moment. And so I just like, it, like time sort of slowed down a little bit. Like, you know, yeah. like when you're in a car crash, but this is like a very positive <laughs> version of that. Like the, picture yeah. that with the opposite. But like, yeah, where you're like, okay, uh, I see everything. And I have, you know, I'm really fortunate. I'm working with, a, you know, some really, really good people um, who, have a lot more experience than I do, and you know I took notes and watched watched as other people walk the carpet. I was like, all right, I can do this. <laughs> yeah. Did, you, did it feel good afterwards? Were you like, yeah, I, I did a good job with that? Yeah, it felt good. good. Definitely. Yeah. If you go to Tommy's Instagram, there's photos from the premiere last night. Yeah. Your yes. outfit was super on point. Oh, thank you. Um, it was like pajamas. But, but like, <laughs> no, that's so right now. Everyone's wearing pajamas, but yeah. they're like acceptable going out pajamas. Yeah. I love it. I mean, they're like All about it. Fancy. Yeah. I remember it, last year I was like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wear sweatpants tonight. And you're like, okay, go for it. Yeah. 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 Like athleisure. You know? I know. <laughs> I'm looking for a good pair of nice sweatpants to wear <laughs> to dinner. <laughs> um, so, how often do you come to LA? Like, what did you say? Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I'm based in New York. I come here, I don't know, I was probably here two months ago for like a week, and then before that, you know, while we were shooting, I was kind of like bopping in and out, bopping mm -hmm. up and down. Um, and I'm here until the 18th right now. Cause nice. I'm going to go to Coachella. I've never been before. Uh, which weekend You'll see are you going? There. First weekend. Me too. Oh, really? I'll see you cool, there. cool. Yeah. Um, and you guys filmed what you said, like a little bit north of San Francisco? Yeah, we filmed like, uh, yeah, I was saying earlier, like 20 minutes north without traffic and like an hour and a half with traffic. So, would you guys go to San Francisco a lot to hang out or was there. Like, when we most... could, yeah. I mean, I'd say we went down pretty frequently. There's a really nice ferry that leaves from Larkspur. And you can like it's beautiful like nice. crossing over. And I love like, ferries. You land right in like the I financial like, district did you ever downtown. Take, oh yeah. Did you ever take the ferry from? Well, I'm from Jersey, so you're probably like, no, why would I do that? <laughs> I've but never taken a ferry. I've never. Okay, yeah. 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 So the ferry New York is amazing. <laughs> Except for to Fire Island. Fun. Oh, okay, I've totally. Yeah, what yeah, is yeah. that again? It's Fire like Island. A it's a gay Carrie Bradshaw goes summer there. commune. Doesn't Carrie Bradshaw go there and they do the fire contest? That's where I live. Oh. What? Chelsea lives on Fire Island. I live right where the ferry leaves to Fire Island. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. A beautiful. You are. Okay. Where, where do you go to Fire Island? I w once last summer. Um, we were in the Pines. That's where. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so a very Island. summery. So thing. it's like the gays are in the Pines and the lesbians are in Cherry Grove. So if you watched, um, like Logo has this new. I heard of that. Show yeah. That's like really painful to talk about. It, <laughs> called the Pines, I think, and SNL like obviously picked then, up yeah. on how horrible oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I heard and about so they that. Yeah, a yeah. lesbian version called Cherry Grow. That's funny. Which was hilarious. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. Um, what are your favorite spots though to hang out in LA? Like if somebody's coming to LA for the first time, what where should where they go? I, I, yeah. I'm like I honestly like I'm the kind of person who just like gets in the car with my friends and I'm like, take me wherever. But I'm gonna hike Runyon after this. And, okay. And that's like obviously super cliche, but I love no, it. No, it was just uh, like um, shut down for a while. So Yeah, it's they did like, a lot of I haven't done it since. I, I usually I actually like I love Los Feliz as a neighborhood and I usually do um 
what is that? The Hollywood sign. Um, no, Griffith Park. I do Griffith Park. Yeah. But I've never gone all the way to the Hollywood sign, but like mm. go like the Griffith Observatory, like La La so, Land. Yeah, Walmart. and then there's like that Trails Cafe, yeah. and you can get the. They yeah, my friend has tea. my friend's parents have a house right there, so we just like park there and kind of like sneak up. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, but there's yeah. really good restaurants in Los Feliz that I love. Yes. And Silver Agreed. Lake's really fun. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can park. Right I love now. Alfred's. I know that's like again like so yeah. typical, but. No, you got. I mean, it's typical life. for a reason. I'm pretty basic. Uh, don't worry. So Who are you most looking forward to see at Coachella? And do you go to a lot of music festivals? Like, is that your thing? I or? did when I was uh, younger. Okay. I mean, I'm still young, but <laughs> I did when I was in high school. I used to go to a lot of festivals. My brother was a big, like, festival guy. Mm. Um, I go to a lot of concerts now. I think... I'm trying to think about who I'm really excited to see Lord. Yes. Mm. Yeah. The first time I heard Greenlight, I was like, I can't wait to just hear this specifically at Coachella. Yeah. Like you can just like it's gonna, it's so gonna be amazing. Is Gaga doing the first weekend now or the second weekend? They do they all yeah, do they, both. All the okay. It's the yeah, exact they both, same yeah. thing. Just oh, like both gotcha. Okay. Well I this is my seventh Coachella wow. and it they didn't do two weekends before. So I guess they just did it because so many people wanted to go. So they're yeah. like, We're just doing it one more time. Keep it I've up heard it's a scene. So it's really we'll fun. See. You can get away from this the scene part of it. Yeah, there is some I think I'm going to some little like the parties. Party things. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There's always the fun parties and people host them. But then you're not at the festival. You'll like it. You'll have fun. Work it out. It'll yes. be good times. Good um, times. And also uh, the last time Selena went, she looked amazing, by the way. I was looking <laughs> at her like uh festival outfits. Oh yeah. So good. You'll have, you'll see a lot of good outfits. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, so we talked about thirteen reasons why as well and just sort of um like, what do you, I think what's really interesting is like, you know, I'm sure, what, what inspired you to become an actor? Obviously, I love of performing, but was there like a, I want to make a difference, like I want to... I think that came later. I mm -hmm. think I just fell in love with storytelling from a really early age and like fantasy and, um, and then that turned, you know, then there's like obviously technical terms for that that are really boring. Um, but, <laughs> but I really, you know, that was kind of it. It was like when I was dancing, like I didn't love the dancing as much as I loved like telling the story. Um, and that was kind of why I sort of like, transitioned and now I do what I do. And I think now I realize um, there's a responsibility that comes with that. And for me, it's become more and more important um, to, yeah, like, and Selena talks about this a lot too, like use my platform for good, not evil. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, so definitely. important. Yeah. yeah, that's really important. How, um, how did you get involved in dance? And like, do you have any advice for someone who maybe like wants to be a dancer? Yeah, I mean, please be a dancer. We need more dancers. No, seriously, <laughs> like be like a professional dancer. It's yeah. one of the most... Um, ambitious and courageous things you can do. And yeah, I mean, I don't know a lot about it, but it seems yeah, like very it's intense. It's a lot of work and not a lot of money. Um, yeah. It's an, I, I, st I still go to the ballet regularly. I go to New York City Ballet. Um, I wanted to be in music videos. I really wanted to be like in Destiny's Child music videos and TLC <laughs> yes. music videos. Wait, were you like a TRL I fan? Love and TRL. Like, yes. I love TRL. I have a lot of cassette, like uh, VHS tapes of me. In my friend doing, we have the entire Crazy Sexy Cool album actually yes. recorded, which is pretty cute. Yes, um, yes. And my sister, who is like 11 years older than me, was like, you can't do that kind of dancing until you get classically trained. And so she like <laughs> really? immediately registered for, <coughs> for dance classes at Atlanta Ballet, and then I guess I was good, and there aren't a lot of guys in dance, so it's like, even if you're not good, they're like, we want you. And so I literally like started dancing pretty early on like with the company and doing like not just like the nutcracker like all the kids did but like they were using me as like the kid and all the parts so awesome. yeah and, and you're like, so you have one brother one sister I know I have I have three brothers and a sister oh wow yeah. and are they are they at all involved in the arts or um they all have in in their own way they're all creative I think yeah. you know like my brother was a singer songwriter for a long time and now he's in business but he still does like open mics totally and my yeah. sister's an incredible singer um and she she has a corporate job that she's really, really good at because she's just like such like, a fun personality, mm -hmm. um, and she still sings as well with my brother. And and then yeah, my other brothers are like sort of like creative entrepreneurs in their own way, and I think like there is an art to that. That, that those are skills that like I don't necessarily. Think are you I the have. youngest? Yeah, the baby. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Have they watched the show yet and been like, I love this? No. <laughs> no, but I, like, cause, like <laughs> they have jobs. Right. And, um, <laughs> it's Friday at. I guess That's 5 true. p.m. Roughly in America. So hours. I hopefully this week. I imagine this weekend they will. But I have been getting texts from like my like 
um, uncles and aunts who, yeah. you know, yes. like writers who do more yeah, like yeah, freelancey yeah, totally. stuff, and like they're super excited about it. And obviously, like my parents came to the premiere last night, Aww. and they stayed up until like two thirty in the morning in their hotel room. Like they're like, oh, we I just they, they just wanted to like they literally watched until I came on screen and, and like, then like right, fell done. asleep. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's your what's your go to karaoke song? Ooh, good oh, go to karaoke song. I really steer steer clear of karaoke. <laughs> I actually there was a really horrible video. So Michelle, who plays Courtney, and I went to Montreal after we wrapped, and it was freezing, but we were just like. Let's get away. Right. And uh, and she lives in New York. She was like two blocks away from me. So we like I, we hopped in my car and just like drove up to Montreal. We did that. We one. did that one. And, really fun. Yeah, and we went to this like really really divey uh, bar, and there was no one else there. And I guess like karaoke is a really big thing in Montreal. And okay. so there, it was literally we had like karaoke to ourselves all night. And I think like we did. We did it all. Yes. Um, I did a Selena song. It was a really yeah, fun song. Amazing. Like, no one will ever Which, sing. which song was it? Uh, hands to my Oh, yes. yes. Um, I was in Seattle um, like a couple months ago visiting my best friend who lives up there. And we went to a place and it was like karaoke night and there was nobody there. Like literally we're the only ones there. So we're like, okay, it's the Halloween <laughs> Frankie show. So we did like yeah. everything from like All Star by Smash Bros. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast yeah. Car, Tracy Chapman got that, in my that feelings actually, for a second. I actually did sing that song that night. Okay, oh, yeah. Yeah. gotcha. You have to go to Smog Cutter. It's in Silver Lake Echo Park area, okay. and it is the best. It's the tiniest hole in the wall, but it's the best karaoke, and everyone there is there for karaoke, and they're having the best time. I think I heard that bar when I was at a restaurant. It's like, like, I was, like, outside of a restaurant with some people, like, a couple days ago, yes. and I was like, who is singing <laughs> so yeah, maybe probably. I was in Silver Lake, so probably. maybe that was it. It's hilarious. So fun. I'm a big um, What's Up by Four Non Blondes. That's my oh, go-to yeah. karaoke song. I have a friend, though, that does chop suey, and she'll just get on the table and yell at people. Like, oh, really? Like, it. Like, <laughs> it's scary. amazing. And Natasha also, one time when Natasha went to Canada, she got held up at customs. Oh, borders? Yes. The border yeah. patrol caught you? <laughs> yes, that did happen one time when I went to Canada. I was, like, on a, like, Nickelodeon trip. Like, they flew us there for, to do a set oh, visit. okay, cool. And I guess I said, I'm here for work instead of business, and that's mm. wrong. And so, like, I, they, were, I was, they were like, who sent you here? And I was like, Nickelodeon. And <laughs> they were like, no. And they held me in this room, and, like, all of, like, the Nickelodeon people were like, what is happening to you? And like, was, they had the, the, all the other reporters, like, were waiting they hot, for her. though? Because when I drove through, like, my customs agent was really hot. Well, this was at uh, the airport. So <laughs> oh, okay. they were just, like, intense, and they were like... I, like, wouldn't have been that mad about uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad about it because everyone on the work trip was waiting for me, and they had right. to wait, like, well, an forget, hour yeah, and you have professional obligations. Yeah, but also when we drove through, we had to be like, we're here for a concert, and people were... They, they were like, no. Yeah, they are like, are you kidding? So weird. <laughs> <laughs> but Montreal's was. great because Montreal's a quick, a pretty quick ride up. Yeah. Well, yeah. also maybe like was this recently? No, mm -hmm. was like two, three years, three years oh, okay. ago. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say if it's recently, I think a lot of people are like trying to flee America and move to Canada. <laughs> That's and so, like, I true. See a little bit more strict. Oh man, I love Canada though. It's so much fun. Yeah. Same. Was did you guys just? I guess because it's easy to go there. I'm we just like from... ate so much poutine. Poutine. We literally had poutine every night. Yeah. We were That's the there. one thing I gotta do. It was amazing. Yeah. Um. But so, so San Francisco is awesome too. But, yeah. San Francisco's uh, super cool. So did you, how long were you guys there for? That was like six months. Wow, that's a really long time. Yeah. Wow, um, and where'd you all stay? Did you all stay together? What's kind of like it the It was a mix. Some rap? people were in apartments, some people were in hotels. So you guys um, rap and then what? Do you go to your separate ways? Do you hang out? We tend to usually at least get dinner together. And a lot of that. Yeah. It's yeah. nice to hear when that happens with casts, because sometimes it's just like, okay, my work's done. Of course it depends done. on when you rap. Yeah, that's true. Lots like of late nights. If it's an overnight, we're rapping at like 6 a.m., then... That's always so crazy to really me. Bad. Like, I can't stay up past 11. So when you guys are like, we were shooting till 5. Like, you, it's funny, what like, is what do you need to stay up that long? I mean, there's always a lot of coffee and snacks on set. But, it, you know, it's weird. Like, today, you know, I had to wake up really early for a, a shoot. And I went to bed really late. But it's like, when I know I have to work, I'm just like... Adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, well, also, you're celebrating so much. You know, like, yeah, it must have been such a good yeah. feeling last night at midnight. And I love what I do, so it's like, it really isn't like a burden. Yeah. In that way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and what's one thing that you like really want viewers to kind of like take away from 13 Reasons Why? Gosh, there's so many things. Um, I think, and I touched on this in the other interview, is like... And you guys will see that soon. Yeah, yeah. I, I, my hope is that viewers find someone they can relate to on this show. Yeah. I feel like that that can really make a difference in someone's life if they're feeling isolated or if they're feeling lonely. And I think our show offers like a wide variety of people that you're shedding uh, that, I know. that um that viewers can relate to and 
and I hope that they, you know, take away that they're not alone. And also at the end of each episode, we do have, you know, numbers you can call, suicide hotlines, people you can talk to if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling anxious, um, resources for that. And I hope that, you know, kids utilize that if they need that. Definitely. Amazing. Well, yeah. I think that's like the perfect way to, to end yeah. this live stream. And um, Tommy, thank you so much so for coming by today. We know yeah. you've had like a whirlwind 24 hours. And congratulations, and too. Like, what a day. And huh. super excited for you guys to see the filmed portion of the interview that we shot earlier today. So stay tuned for that. Definitely catch all the episodes of 13 Reasons Why on Netflix right now. Watch and uh, it, we like it. to take them out with the, all at the same time. We say, You're so beautiful now. So, yeah. uh, one, two, three. You're, You're so, so beautiful, beautiful now. now.